It's the Kai Shack Bricks. It's the Kai Shack Bricks. It's the Kai Shack Bricks. Hey guys, it's Kai Shack, and I have challenged myself to build some animals out of Lego. I will start with my favourite animals, and then I will move on to suggested ones by the audience. So here we go. So this episode is about animal number two. If you haven't watched the first episode of the series where I build the giant anteater, I suggest you go watch that first and join the video. So my second favourite animal is a sloth. So when I decided to build him, it was after the anteater, and I thought that I might try to replicate rep, 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 replicate a sloth when it's crawling on the ground, one that looks like this. Um, the parts which I thought might be the hardest, I was exactly right, and they didn't turn out that well, but the rest of the body was very good. So the part which I was worried about the most, that I might get wrong, is the head. And that's about all, because I had the rest figured out. So here is my model. So here's the sloth that I've been talking about, and I really like the way I built his body and everything. Yeah, so, his head. One thing I like about his head is how he can go up and down, like, I made it able so he can nod, like, yes. Um, yeah, I did that by putting hinges there. Let's see if I can take it off. No, 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 I can't. Oh, well. Yeah, but I don't, really don't like his face. Just look at his face. Just imagine what he's thinking with that face. I hate my life. Okay, but the rest of the sloth is quite good, actually. For example, I like the, how I made the arms there. That they can move up and down and side to side. So you can sort of make him wave. Or, yeah, like that. Like, like he's climbing a tree. So that's how real sloths are. And, yeah, they're attached on like that with joints and hinges here. Yeah, I don't know what these are called. Like he's, and it looks like he's climbing a tree. But underneath, he doesn't look that good. There's just plates. But on the outside, he looks great. Oh, yeah, it looks like he's crawling here. And this is how I made those claws that the real sloths have, which they use to grab onto the, the trees. And here's the head. And the back legs, which are very small, like in a real sloth, much shorter back legs. And you can pose them. Not too poseable. Yeah, you can take the back off. That's what I made the back sort of, just like that. Yeah, and here are some studs to make it look a bit like the correct colour. And, yeah, I think he looks very cool. So, now onto the information and evaluation. Information! Yeah, so, as you probably know, sloths are famous for being very, very and they climb trees. I have no idea how they manage to actually climb a tree, since they're that slow. And I believe they live in rainforests. Rainforests, I think. I don't know, but they... I like sloths because they're not like monkeys, because monkeys are like more monkey and sloths are like sloppy. You know what I mean? They're, they're like more original. Yeah, I've heard they, they their body temperature is usually from 30 to 34 degrees and what else is there? Yeah, the baby sloths usually hold on to their mother's fur. Yeah, sloths are also known for being quite stupid and for making weird faces, creepy faces. Now, some sloths are that so stupid that when they're high up in a tree they grab onto their own arm thinking that it's a branch and then they fall off and die. Which is, um, a bit stupid, but it's actually also horrible. It's sad, imagine if you were a sloth. Oh yeah, and uh, most of these facts, well, some of them, I learned from this video called The Sloth Song. I will leave a link to it in the description. It's awesome, you should check it out. And, yeah, that's all I think you need to know about the sloth. Evaluation! Okay, so, with my Lego Anteater, I had concluded that it is the best Lego Anteater I have seen on the internet. But with the sloth, I am ashamed to say mine is not the best. Definitely not. 
I saw, when I searched it in Google, I saw this picture of a giant sloth, which is extinct. It still counts as a sloth, which is much better than mine. And then I saw this amazing Lego Midstorms. If you don't know what a Lego Midstorms is, Midstorm is, I mean, it's like a robot made of Lego. And someone made a fully operational working Lego s Midstorms sloth, and it, it can climb... It can climb things at the same speed, it's just so awesome. There's even a video of it, which I will leave lo a link to in the description, and um, it's so awesome. Makes me jealous. Yeah, but mine's still okay. In conclusion, mine's okay, but definitely not the best on the internet. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for Lego and Minecraft videos. And which model did you like more? My anteaser or my sloth? Let me know in the comments and share your Lego sloth, give me feedback, or maybe even suggest some animals for me to build. The next animal will be, will be an Okapi, which I yeah, but I'll do my best to do so. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.